so after the latest video I got a lot of new comments with a big funny punchline. How I should have named the video. And that let me think, maybe I should listen more to the community again. So I decide to make a submarine gu- Kek W start the intro. Not. Stop! You violated the law! <laughs> so, after giving people again hope for a submarine guide, let's welcome everyone to this new guide from the Super Unicorn. Me, this time featuring the IJ and the Shiro. In case you notice Bismarck and Swifter in the background, just ignore them. There will be definitely nothing coming with them, you can trust me on that. No really, I can tell you, that one of these ships will not get a guide in the near future. What means? I have no idea what that means anyway. I suggest we finally start talking about this ship, well about the history. Let's see what we can find there. Okay, here we go. The IJN Nishiro was a light cruiser built during the World War II era at around 1942. The design was based from this chunky boy, planning to replace all the weak Japanese ships. The gimmick of this ship was, having a crap ton of AA guns, at least for its size. Well didn't work out for her, since a USN aircraft carrier sunk her. Lol. Well this was quite an interesting story, at least they tried to give the Japanese good anti air. It's not like it worked or something. Well how do you get this ship? Pretty easy. Build a time machine and go to the swirling cherry blossoms event and get lucky with your map drop or you can exchange it the shop reward i know that you hate me for that so with that we can start talking about the stats first we would have the firepower she has a good amount of firepower and by good i mean very good she would be under the top 10 ships ignore that like said under the top 10 ships easily to that she has a decent amount of reload which means she can put a lot of damage out in a short amount of time Next on we got the anti-air, when talking about, that we can recap the history, she had many AA guns on her deck, which means, that she obviously has a good AA in this game too. Okay, sadly not, she only has 333 points there, which is almost a sign of the devil, it can take down some planes, but I wouldn't count on it too much, but hey at least you got 110% efficiency. After that we would have the torpedoes, yes this ship has torpedoes, to make it extra retarded, and even better is, that it has one of the highest torpedo damage for a light cruiser, even the highest, if you don't count the retrofits, that's right I'm looking at you, to that you also got a pretty high efficiency on them what means, building this ship for torps might actually work out, don't ask me, if it's a good choice, but it is a possibility. Last but not at least the survivability of this ship. Nashiro is decently tanky when it comes to HP and evasion. Having only around 3300 hit points is not rather impressive, but for that you get a pretty chunky amount of evasion. You have 104 points there, allowing this ship to make some epic torpedo beats. With this alone you would be decent, but you also get a skill that enhances her evasion which perfectly transitions us to the next gimmick of this ship, the perks. Nashiro has 3 skills in total, I still wonder why I tell the amount, since this is nothing special or anything. Well anyway the first skill is Nashiro's Horforced, interesting name for a perk but okay. Whenever this ship is afloat you get an increase in evasion rate by 15% and your vanguard eats less torp damage by around 20%. This perk is something for me, that makes a ship unique, allowing a decent tanky ship, to take the rollover for the front line, since having high evasion is not broken or anything. But since this is not already good enough, we also gave you a damage reduction for torpedoes, since who likes eating damage in the first place? Next on we have, Sky Slayer's Edge, 
you get a damage increase to light and normal carriers by 20%, and in addition to that all your vanguard ships get a higher chance to crit, even up to 12%, and let's not forget about a damage increase of 20% for torpedoes. Yeah this was a lot, but the good thing is, you benefit from this, it sometimes surprises me how these skill get into the game. Well anyway this perk is pretty useful, since when you put her in a mob fleet, and in addition to that you like playing map 13, you got yourself the perfect damage farmer, since you see so much sky cancer everywhere. And also the increase of crit and torpedo damage will benefit you a lot, except you use ships without torpedoes. And for the last perk we got ourselves a normal barrage. Well did you expect it is not a barrage, but yeah at least it's not a bad one. Even a pretty decent one that fires torpedoes. Well with that we got the skills, next to the equipment. As for the main battery gun, I would prefer the triple 152mm prototype guns. It doesn't have the HEDPM like other guns, but for that it has a lot better reload, and since you got yourself a spicy barrage you want to activate it often. Otherwise you can also take the triple 155mm which has better DPM but slower reload, and for the weeaboos under you that say that the single 150mm is a good choice. No it's not. You activate the barrage more often yes, but you lose so much firepower in return and the barrage doesn't hit all the time. The shells from the gun do. Next on the torpedo, I use the 610mm quadruple torpedo, since obviously they have the highest damage output, and to that you've got a high stat for torps on Nashiro. So if you count 1 plus 1 you can find out this works out great for her. But for the lazy boys under you take the 533mm quadruple torps from the Germans. I don't even know why I say what AA gun you should take. Ever you take the bow fours for a big DPS, but for that shorter range. Or you take the twin 133mm one with better range and big damage numbers, but less DPM. And now the juicy part, the auxiliary equipment. For the first slot you want an improved hydraulic rudder. There is no way out of it, you want to make this ship's evasion even more stupid to another level. For the second slot you can decide if you want to make this ship more tanky with a repair toolkit, or if you want to increase the torpedo damage with an oxygen torpedo. I myself took the torpedo, since I don't have too many problems with surviving, especially on map 11 trying to farm Columbia. Well this was it with the equipment. Nashiro is a really nice and tanky ship, she can do even good damage, the only downside for me would be the decent HP pool, but even this can be enhanced, so with that we got the guide to Nashiro, and coming closer to finish once all the ships, who am I lying to, there will never be an end. Before I end here, don't forget to subscribe, and also leave a like, until next time, your Unicom player Nick.